Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. So here is the situation. You are a user that has a PC that is powerful enough to run Breath of the Wild using CMU, yet for some reason you are still getting stutter like you see me getting right now on screen. This particular gameplay run was done using a 100% complete transferable shader cache and my pre-compiled cache is also compiled fully. In this video, I am going to show you exactly why you get this stutter and how exactly you can fix it. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is navigate over to our NVIDIA GL cache folder. This is located on your C disk, users, your name, app data, roaming, NVIDIA folder as you can see here, GL cache. When we come into this folder here, there should be a much, much larger file here. The reason this file is not much larger is because it has been reset due to a GPU driver update. Let's now go over to our CMU folder just to show you that our pre-compiled cache is exactly where it should be and is the correct size. As you can see here, the DCAC9927 pre-compiled shader cache file for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is exactly the right size it should be and is in the correct place. Let's delete this GL cache file and recreate exactly what happens every time you update your GPU drivers. Let's now relaunch Breath of the Wild using CMU. Take note that this loading of the shader cache took place using the pre-compiled folder that was already built but no GL cache was present. Ok, now that we're loaded into game, let's see how it performs. Already you can see that we have gotten drops down to 27, 25 and 28 FPS. This should not be happening in this area of the game. This stutter is happening due to the Nvidia folder rebuilding its GL cache shader. Let's now exit out of game, delete our pre-compiled shader cache, delete our GL cache shader cache and recompile the game from scratch. Please note that this shader compilation is the slow version that takes place when you do not have a pre-compiled shader cache. Ok, so now we are back in game with our pre-compiled shader cache recompiled and our GL cache shader now present. This is how the game should be performing and these are the steps that you should take if you are suffering stuttering in your game like you saw in my previous gameplay clips. Let's quickly go back over what exactly caused this issue for me. This issue arose when I updated to my latest Nvidia GPU driver. It caused my GL cache to get deleted, my pre-compiled to appear as if it was fully working but it actually wasn't. It was causing extreme stutter when it was trying to rebuild in the GL cache folder. The simple steps to fix this issue are as follows. Navigate over to the Nvidia GL cache folder found on CDisk, Users, Your Name, the App Data folder. To show this folder you need to come to View and click Hidden Items. Clicking on Hidden Items will show this folder. Go to App Data, Roaming, Nvidia and GL Cache. If you know exactly which folder it is you are looking for, you can delete it, but I find it's just as easy to come back out here and delete the entire GL Cache folder. Once you have this done, let's navigate over to our CMU 1.9.0 folder. Mine is on my desktop, CMU 1.9.0, Shader Cache, pre-compiled and match up your save DIR to the shader cache file here and delete the correct one. All you now need to do is reload your game, recompile your transferable shader and your game should now be stutter free and back to the performance that you should be expecting. Once again, cheers for checking out the video guys, I really really hope it helps you out. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, contact me over on Twitter if you have any questions in relation to CMU performance and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.